Howdy folks, Joe Spock from NDB Aviation. Hope you all are having a good day out there today. I'm going to show you how to install the X-Plane Flight Instrument Panels plugin from DVT at xplane.org. So that way you can actually use your FIPS for X-Plane and not just FSX or Prepare 3D. What I have here is a quick graphic showing the uh, custom made graphics that he's made for them. Cycling through, there are a few close-ups here. He's got an airliner glass cockpit setup that he made, and there are a couple others as well. So, I'm going to show you how to install it, and I'm going to show you some other time I'll show you how to do some of the other customizable functions that he did build into it. But make sure that you have your xplane.org profile ready. Sign in, go ahead and search for SciTech. You're going to be looking for downloads, files, and look for SciTech FIP Flight Instrument Panel Support 4.1 from DVT. And just remember that photo there, that helps to keep everything to standing out for you. And I've got it in a separate tab already. So, SciTech FIP Flight Instrument Panel Support 4.1 DVT. Good picture. Couple notes. First note if you're running Windows XP, use version 3.12. Otherwise, if, you use, if you're using Windows 7 or 8, use 4.1. Also, if you're running on a Mac operating system, you're going to have to network it with a PC to run this. There's no native support yet for the FIPS in Mac. So with all that said, let's move on. Once you've signed in, you've pulled up this page, you're ready to download. Click Download. And since I'm using a Windows 7 computer or if you're using Windows 7 or 8 make sure to download for Warn. If you're using Windows XP download 3 Warn 2 but this is for Windows 7 so download for Warn. Downloads beginning and again depending on your internet speed this could take a couple seconds to a few minutes. So let's go ahead and set up our folders Xplane 10 folder and then our download folder. So downloads. Right now it's still downloading so let's go ahead and set up our X-Plane folder. So within the X-Plane 10 installed folder go to resources, plugins, and you'll already see that I have the SciTech FIP plugin in here but I'm going to go ahead and just overwrite this one with the latest one. So coming back over to our downloads go ahead and click on FIPS Management System for Warn. Right click, Extract All, Extract. And this will take just a little bit of time. And the difference between this, in this installation and the installation for the SciTech panels will be a two-part piece. Go ahead and go inside the download. You have the, pl you have the actual plugin right here drag and drop it into your plugin folder in X-Plane 10. I'm going to let it overwrite the old one. Move and replace. So the latest one is in there. And then you have another folder that I suggest you put onto your computer's desktop. So I'm going to minimize the X-Plane 10 folder. I'm going to minimize my Google Chrome window and I'm going to drag this flight management system folder out onto my desktop. You need to make sure this is on your computer so when you start up this program it'll work with the plugin that's already in X-Plane to drive your FIP. Open this folder up and before you start X-Plane you need to start this little program right here, this ICM module. Once you turn that up, click on it, double click, make sure your FIP is already plugged into your computer via USB cable. If it's not plugged in via the USB cable, the program will not initialize. So make sure your FIP is installed, plugged in, click on this, start it, run, and if I had my FIP plugged in right now, that little box that just jumped up and then disappeared all of a sudden would actually stay open. Your FIP would load with all the graphics for all your instruments and then you can start X-Plane. To make this easier for me, I've taken this and I've dragged it on 
to my bar down here so it's really right next door to my X-Plane icon so when everything's plugged in I just click on the ICM module wait for that to initialize my FIP and then I start X-Plane 10 with that said that's all you need to do to get your FIPS to work with X-Plane 10 as far as any other specializations for customizations that's on you there are a couple ways to change this around change these up but this is the most simple self-explanatory way to get this all to work with X-Plane 10 on a Windows 7 or 8 PC if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below enjoy your flight simulation time and flight time from Joe Spock and DB Aviation have a great day and happy flying